Hi, I'm Carl Weiss, and I've been using deployable trading bots for over two years now in my trading. And what I learned from using these bots is that my view of the market changed because I could step back a little bit because I knew I had these bots available to me that I could deploy at my leisure. I didn't have to react so much to the market. From that, we've developed a three-step workflow on how, when, and where to deploy these bots. And I think what's really cool about this workflow is not only does it leverage all the good stuff about the bot technology, it leverages a lot of market realities that are um, very difficult for traders to manage, but very easy for bots to manage. So the first thing that we've built into the bots, we've built into the workflow, is that understanding that one move can't start until the other move ends. So a new uptrend can't start until a downtrend ends. And our workflow starts off with alerts that are predicated on what we call conclusionary order flow. And that's baked into the product and ships with the product. The next important salient point in the workflow is that objects in motion tend to stay in motion. And what's really cool in the trend, you'll find multiple opportunities to deploy ninja bots to take advantage of a right shoulder, a breach of the neckline, ABC retracements in the trend, and what we call conclusionary breaches. So the workflow is three steps. It's alert, assess, and then activate. Why do we start out with alert? The reason we start out with an alert is that humans really aren't built to stare at a screen and just intake this manic amount of data and process it and process it. The longer a trader stares at a screen, the more their analytical and response uh, skills degrade. So our philosophy is always abdicate as much of the order flow analysis and work to a bot. So we use these order flow alerts to look out into the market for us to say, hey, something happened in the order book. You may want to go look at the market. The order flow alerts that ship with NinjaBots are for book pressure, for sweep, and for our trusty two standard deviation tick ratio. When you hear those, that means something material happened in the order book, you're going to want to go look at your chart. You've heard the alert. You as a trader have wonderful pattern recognition skills and strategy because you've had some screen time. So what you're going to do is you're going to assess the market. Frequently nothing's happening. Just because you heard an alert doesn't mean there's really anything doing. But if you're monitoring and you see price action lining up, you see market structure lining up, you see order flow lining up, you can deploy a bot. Or sometimes you might be close. Eh, everything's not lining up yet. At that point, you may want to say, oh, I'm willing to sit in front of my monitor and spend 5 or 10 or 20 minutes just to see if something lines up. And then if the stars do line up, if you can click the next one, that's when you'll want to activate one or more ninja bots. What's nice about ninja bots is if you deploy multiple ninja bots, the first ninja bot that triggers will then turn off all the other ninja bots. You don't have to worry about orphan bots running around on your trading account.